At first glance, the process of cats mating might seem straightforward. Two cats meet, they mate, and voila, a pregnancy followed by a litter of kittens. However, there's a lot more beneath the surface. The journey from initial attraction to the arrival of kittens is filled with unique behaviors, physiological changes, and nuances that might surprise you. So in this video, we're going to explore the complex dance of feline love and how cats truly make babies. When do cats start thinking about mating? When your kitten is born, they're just figuring out the basics. How to nurse, how to walk without tumbling, and of course, the art of the perfect purr. But as the weeks go by, they're also growing and fast. Female kittens are on the path to becoming queens, while their male counterparts are destined to be toms. So at what age does the thought of mating even cross their minds? For queens, the answer lies in a term you might have heard before estrus or heat. It's like a biological alarm clock that says, hey, I'm ready to have kittens of my own. This can kick in anywhere from four to nine months. However, some queens might even enter their first heat as early as three months. Why such a range? Well, several factors come into play. Their breed can influence it, as can their overall health. And interestingly, the environment plays a role too. If your feline friend lives in a warmer climate, they might feel those mating urges a tad earlier than a cat who's used to chilly winds and snow. How to know if your cat is in heat? The first and often most noticeable sign is the yowling. And if you've never heard a cat in heat before, it's unmistakable. It's louder and more persistent than their usual meows. Almost as if they're singing the song, but it's really a call out to potential mates. Then there's the rolling. This is a combination of their body's hormonal changes and a way to spread their scent. In essence, they're advertising their availability. And speaking of scents, marking with urine is another common behavior during this time. It's not them being naughty, it's just another method to broadcast their I'm ready to mate signal. Beyond these signs, there are subtler cues too. You might find your cat raising their hindquarters, especially when you give them a gentle stroke near the base of their tail. They might also become super affectionate. Think headbutts, purrs, and weaving around your legs more than usual. If your cat isn't bred, they can go through this heat cycle multiple times in a year. Each cycle can last anywhere from a few days to a full two weeks. What happens when cats mate? When the queen shows signs of being in heat, she's introduced to the Tom's territory. Male cats can be territorial, and it's safer to let him be on his home turf where he feels secure. The initial introduction might involve some hissing or even swatting. It's essential to monitor them closely at this stage. If the queen isn't ready, or if she doesn't accept the male, she might become aggressive. Once they're comfortable, you'll notice the familiar courtship behaviors. The tom might circle the queen, sniff her, and make trilling sounds, while she might roll around and flirtatiously twitch her tail. At this stage, things can seem, well, quite abrupt. The actual mating is often brief, and if you're an observer, it might look a tad aggressive. The tom might bite the queen's neck, and there's usually a lot of vocalization. But don't be too alarmed, this is just how cats communicate during this intimate moment. The biting, in fact, helps to stabilize their position. Post-mating, they are typically separated. This is both to give the queen some peace, since tomcats can be persistent, and to prepare her for potential pregnancy. Sometimes, to up the odds of a successful pregnancy, Breeders might allow the pair to mate multiple times over a few days. How to confirm your cat is pregnant. If your cat has recently mated, mark that day on your calendar. From there, count out approximately 63 to 65 days. That's the general gestation period for cats. Now, for the signs. Early on, it might be tricky to notice any drastic changes. But as the weeks progress, some things will start to stand out. Your cat's appetite is going to skyrocket. Along with that, weight gain becomes pretty evident. Next up, their nipples. A pregnant cat's nipples become noticeably larger and turn a deeper shade of pink as they prepare for the upcoming task of feeding their little ones. Watch out for behavioral changes as well. Your cat might suddenly turn into a love bug, seeking more affection from you. To confirm any suspicions and ensure everything is on track, a trip to the vet is invaluable. A professional can not only confirm the pregnancy, but also give you an idea about the number of kittens you can expect. How to care for a pregnant cat. 
First and foremost, comfort is key. A soft, quiet, and secluded spot in your home can be the perfect sanctuary for them. Playtime is still important, but with a twist. While they might not be up for sprinting around like their usual selves, gentle play can be both engaging and comforting. But remember to keep it calm and avoid anything too strenuous. Regular vet checkups are very important. This ensures both the mother and the unborn kittens are healthy. Your vet can advise on the right diet and any supplements they might need. Hydration is crucial too. Always ensure fresh water is available and you might find they're drinking a little more than usual. Giving birth. As the big moment approaches, your queen will start scouting for a quiet hidden spot. Maybe it's that corner in your closet or under your bed. Prepare a comfortable space for your cat to give birth in. Place a box with high sides in a calm area of your home and line it with soft, clean bedding to provide a cozy and safe environment for the mother and her upcoming litter. Birth itself isn't always a rapid process. There could be intervals between each kitten's arrival. Don't panic if there's a pause. Nature has its rhythm. Your role? Primarily to observe. Make sure everything's going smoothly and lend a helping hand if needed. If it's your first time observing a cat giving birth, we advise arranging for a vet to be on standby or even present. This ensures that if there are any complications, expert help is at hand immediately. How to look after newborn kittens. For your cat, this time is filled with adjustments, responsibilities, and a myriad of needs. So, how can you make this time smoother for them? First, let's talk about the basics. Your cat will be ravenous. Remember, they're not just eating for themselves anymore. Nursing kittens can deplete a cat's energy pretty fast. Therefore, it's crucial to ensure they have continuous access to food and water. A nutritious diet becomes even more important at this point. Now, let's discuss those little bundles of joy. It's essential to keep an eye out for their development. Steady weight gain and increased activity over the weeks are good indicators. Around the four-week mark, you'll notice the kittens becoming more adventurous. This is a perfect time to introduce them to the litter box and solid food. A little tip? Wet food is easier for them to eat initially. As they get the hang of it, you can gradually introduce dry food. But here's the heartwarming part. As the days go by, you'll notice your cat teaching their kittens the ropes. From grooming to using the litter box, it's a wonderful sight to see these life lessons being passed on. How to safely rehome kittens. Typically, kittens are ready to be rehomed between 8 to 12 weeks of age. At this age, they've had adequate time with their mom, learning essential cat behaviors, and they're also mature enough to adjust to new surroundings. It's essential that before they step into their new homes, they've received their first set of vaccinations. And while we're on the topic of health, deworming is a must. It ensures that these kitties are parasite-free and ready to start their new life on a healthy note. Now, on to the process of finding the perfect home. When potential adopters come calling, it's okay to be a bit nosy. Ask questions. What's their home environment like? Do they have experience with cats? Are there other pets in the household? It's all about making sure it's a good fit. Lastly, there's the emotional part. Handing over a kitten you've cared for is not easy. It's okay to feel a tad emotional. But remember, by ensuring they have a safe and loving forever home, you're giving them the best gift possible, a chance at a happy, contented life. Ever watched your cat and wondered, how do I let them know just how much I adore them? Cats have their unique way of seeing the world, and while they might not understand our words, they're excellent at picking up on our actions. So check out this video, where we talk about eight perfect ways to show your cat you love them. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline-loving community.